Over the course of history, a changing climate has been the key driver of how land is used and how people live and feed themselves around the world. In this respect, St. Lucia is an enviable 617 square kilometer island to live on. This is because of its abundant sunshine, fertile land, cool rainforests, and sea breeze. From all indications, it is logical to conclude that global environmental issues are affecting these aspects of island living. Central to this is the warming of the earth and oceans, melting ice at the poles leading to sea level rise, crop failures and land degradation, and natural disasters leading to the extinction of multiple species of biodiversity. These are not scenarios of the future. These are climatic developments occurring as you are watching this film. Data covering the period 1901 to 2015 for St. Lucia shows average peak temperatures have increased by at least 2 degrees Celsius. Most of this change happened over the last 15 years. Over the same periods, average rainfall intensity for November has also increased from 275 to close to 350 millimeters. These changes matter not because of how temperature and amount of rainfall can change from day to day, but rather climate change is measured by putting together what happens with the weather every day over several years. A 2 degree Celsius rise might not mean much to people as they go about their daily lives. However, it is numbers such as these that explain why there is increased flooding causing the loss of property, intense hurricanes and excessively hot days during some months of the year. The projections for temperature rise in the Southern Caribbean are alarming. The International Panel for Climate Change predicted that mean annual temperatures will increase by another 2% Celsius by 2050 in the region. Another projection by CaribSave in 2012 suggests that the annual temperature in St. Lucia could increase from 0.9 to 1.7 Celsius by 2050 and from 1.8 to 3.1 degrees Celsius by 2080. The scenario also predicts a reduction in annual rainfall by 4 to 19 mm by 2050 and 6 to 37 mm by 2080. They also forecasted increases in the frequency of hot days, hot nights, sea surface temperature and wind speed. While a 3 degree rise in temperature will be practically unlivable, current trends indicate that St. Lucia faces a difficult and urgent task of adaptation to increasing temperatures by 2050. Unless there is a reversal of global trends fueling global warming, there will be a need to address higher heat loads in buildings. Air conditioning services will break down and even government offices will be uninhabitable unless large sums of public expenditure are funneled to keep staff cool and the public service working. A large section of the will not be able to afford air conditioning unless energy generation is owned by households or electricity is provided at low cost via public utility services. That process has been over several years. We started in 2016, but it gained impetus in 2017, where we had a large number of stakeholder consultations um, around the island, having different persons provide their input on this process, on the areas deemed to be significant for St. Lucia, the critical sectors, to identify what the key measures were um, that were needed to build climate resilience, as well as to go further to conceptualize projects that can be put forward for implementation.